Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a first impressions to do for you. If you haven't been looking at my Instagram feed, this might be kind of a surprise because I did, didn't film an unboxing of this one. Um, something happened with this knife and another one actually where my wife kind of opened the boxes uh, thinking they were her packages and then they were already so open that it was like whatever, I had the knives and I didn't feel like resealing a box to pretend I was opening it for the first time or anything like that. So there was no unboxing of this knife. But this is a Civivi Elementum. Um, I just picked it up from River's Edge Cutlery because I was sick of everybody either saying that it was the greatest or hearing a whole other group of people saying it's completely overrated and there's just a lot of talk about this knife a lot of people have them a lot of people have had them and have gotten rid of them and there's a lot of stuff happening around this knife has been for a while and so i figured i ought to just freaking give it a shot these are 50 dollars. i think it was 52 or something um this is the version in micarta and d2 and for 50 bucks it was worth it to me to get one sniff it out and uh, and see how it actually is in real application. So, picked it up from River's Edge Cutlery, like I said. They, of course, are fantastic. As always, I will link down below to the River's Edge Cutlery site and to this knife specifically, assuming they have it in stock still when I post this video. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I just really got this one mostly out of curiosity. <laughs> um, I do that from time to time with knives, you may have noticed, but this one just has so much said about it constantly in the community. People saying it's the best budget knife ever, other people saying vastly overrated. So anyway, let's do some first impressions, talk a little bit about this guy. I uh, carried it for one whole day so far and part of today as well, so it's still in first impressions territory. I've done a little cutting with it, but not nearly extensive enough to be ready to do a full review. So in about a week, there will be a full review of this guy as well, and, and we'll really see how it pans out, whether my thoughts change on it, stay the same, all that kind of stuff. So first things first, the blade on this guy is, as I said, D2. Uh, D2 is okay. <laughs> it used to be a while back that D2 was considered very, very good. Uh, D2 is now certainly a budget steal. If you don't believe me, look at what all the budget knives are coming out in. Um, not all of them, a lot of them. There are still some worse steals that can be had, absolutely. Um, D2 is not a bad steal, in my opinion. Some people I'm friends with might claim that they think it's a bad steal, but I've actually had fairly good experiences with D2 overall. I've had it on folders, I've had it on fixed blades. Um, and for 50 bucks, no complaints there. Uh, the scales on this guy are micarta. So this is the brown micarta, and I like the way these look. These are about how they looked right out of the box, to be honest. They haven't really like changed all that much. Um, if anything, I feel like they might have all like gotten a little bit lighter, maybe, from going in and out of my pocket. Um, but yeah, I like the feel of them. I like the look of them. I was glad to find one in my Carta available. I like it better than G10, and uh, I think that's cool. So we have D2, my Carta. Uh, the liners are going to be stainless steel. It is, of course, a liner lock, so we've got the lock bar there. The detent ball in this guy, I think it's a steel detent? I guess it could be ceramic. I really don't know. Um, but it's dialed very well. It feels good. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, also, internally, these liners, I doubt that it's going to be possible to really show you, but uh, they are internally milled out, so they're kind of skeletonized in there. And it's interesting, this knife is not very big, um, and it's not like the materials on it are very thick anywhere, and it's really skeletonized inside. So I don't know if this micarta is just heavier than I'm used to my Carta being. It's not that this knife is heavy. I should stop myself right there. But this knife feels heavier than I thought it would be. And then, like, the first time I picked it up, I was like, okay. It's not like a featherweight, right? Which is fine. But then I assumed that the internals were not going to be skeletonized because of the weight sensation I had in hand. And then I looked in, and it's, like, super skeletonized. So it's like this weird vanishing act where I'm not sure quite where this weight is coming from. The blade stock isn't 
that thick. It's not super thin either, but I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit weird to me. I'm not a specs guy, so I don't. I can't tell you how many ounces this weighs or whatever. But it just feels heavier than I perceived it was going to. Um, again, not an actual heavy knife. I want to reiterate that, but heavier than I thought. So let's talk action real quick because that's one of the talking points on this one. I've had a lot of people tell me best budget knife action period. So good. Can't be better for 50 bucks. I've had other people tell me that theirs was garbage and off center and didn't deploy right and didn't lock up right. And that could be a QC thing. Maybe I got a good one. Maybe they got a bad one. I personally... This is the first Civivi I've actually ever bought for myself. I bought a few for gifts, um, or for you as gifts, I should say. And then, like, my brother and my dad have each had one or two Civivis, and I know a lot of people who've had them. And I haven't really heard, like, many complaints about quality control issues. For the most part, it seems to be that they're quite consistent, from what I can perceive. So, I got a good one. <laughs> this action is quite nice. Um, I can light switch it. I can push button it. Either way, it deploys reliably. Let's see if I can get it to fail. Yeah, I mean, I can. But it's also, unless I'm trying to make it fail, I've never had it fail unintentionally. Um, the action is good. I haven't done any adjustment on here. I haven't added any KPL or anything funky in here. It's just exactly the way it came out of the box. I played with it a fair bit. It feels exactly like it did right when I opened it. It's nice. Is it a guillotine drop shutter? No. Um, is it the snappiest knife I've ever felt? No. But for $50, this is a very good action. And I feel like a lot of the time you get a knife that's smooth like this when it's a little bit loose. And this one, I don't feel any blade play, which is great. Uh, no front to back either. It's It locks up well. It feels solid in hand and while cutting. And so the action doesn't appear to be attributed to like a loose pivot or anything like that. It's just nice and smooth. Um, it runs on bearings. The bearings seem to be doing great. It's a good action. For 50 bucks, I'd call it a great action. Um, so yeah, the action on mine is very good. Heard people complain. If theirs was just like this and they were complaining about it, then we look at what makes a good action very differently I guess I don't know it's just very it's very smooth I can't imagine anyone had one that's like this and was like that's a bad action this feels very good to me it feels much nicer than a $50 knife on deployment and on closing everything's smooth there's no grittiness it's great um, all right so let's talk about ergos for a second ergos so far I'm digging I, uh, I thought this knife was going to be like a three and a half finger knife. I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller than it actually is in person. I wear extra medium gloves. Uh, I wear mediums, but I fill them out real well. Um, so for me, the amount of grip area on here, I just, I get all four fingers just fine. There's even like, I mean, I wouldn't really call it breathing room, but I'm not hanging off the end there. My pinky's not just barely making it. It's a four finger knife for me. And uh, it does have a little bit of kind of a forward choil spot um, that I can choke up pretty comfortably and use that as well. <coughs> so that's nice. I have used it a couple of times when doing a little bit more detail oriented work with it. Um, and that's been good. So ergonomically, I think this knife definitely passes. Um, there's the only spots of jimping are going to be right here on the actual liner lock kind of bar right there and that definitely helps with disengaging the lock and in hand I don't find it bothersome um, it's kind of rounded it's it's not aggressive at all and then up here on the spine in the most typical spot to ever find jimping um, the jimping up here I, I would say I would like this knife 10% better maybe maybe that's too generous I'd like it a little better if it didn't have that jimping but as jimping goes Again, non-aggressive, it's not trying to cut my finger off, it's just, it's fine right there. And I'm sure some people love that there's jimping there. I'm not a jimping guy, generally speaking. So, doesn't make me happy, but it doesn't ruin the knife for me either. So, I just realized I'm sitting kind of low in this chair, and I have the camera on a weird angle, so I'm like, I'm like slowly disappearing out of frame, aren't I? Sit up nice and tall for you guys. Uh, Alright, so, ergos are good, action is good. Uh, let's talk about carry. Um, the overall 
profile of this knife is, as you can see, it's nice and rounded everywhere. Everything is smooth, everything is soft. Um, the micarta has a good level of grip um, that like helps ergonomically. I like this micarta and the way it feels in hand, but it's not so rough that it's a bummer sliding it out of pocket. It's not a pocket shredder at all. This deep carry clip is positioned all the way to the very butt end of the knife. I like the way the clip looks. I like the way it functions. I like that it's a black clip, matches all the black hardware. Um, this clip is a win, in my opinion, absolutely. The only way this clip could be better is if they did it pro -tech style, and instead of having it sit on top of the scale, if it was nested down into the scale, like if they had ground a little slot for it in there, because it already has the flush hardware, which is great. It's not button screws that stick up in there, but the tang of the clip very minor thing. <laughs> there, not many people do what I'm explaining Protec does, but Protec sets the, the tang of the clip down into the scale material so that that sets flush with the level of the scale as well. That would take this to another level. This is a $50 knife. And for that to be the only complaint I have about the clip is that they're not doing it the way, in my opinion, the very best clips in the game are being done right now by one degree. Like, this is a good clip. I like it a lot like the way it looks, like the way it functions. Uh, this knife feels good in pocket. It does, uh, again, the weight thing. It's not heavy, um, but I just expected it to be lighter. That's probably not even fair to say, like, who am I to just guesstimate at what a knife is gonna feel like weight-wise, but it just, perception-wise, when I have this in pocket, when I'm holding it, it just feels a little bit more present because of its weight than I imagined it would. That's a very, a very unfair judgment to pass, but I'm being open here. So yeah, it goes great in pocket. The shape is good. The flipper tab isn't annoying. Um, everything is, is very well rounded. Even if you look at this flipper tab, I guess that's one spot of kind of jimping that I neglected to mention because I frankly didn't even really notice it until right this second. There's a little bit of jimping on the flipper tab, which does give me better traction to deploy it, which is fine. But if you look at the tab itself, all the edges are nice and well-rounded. Um, all the edges on the knife in general are nice and well-rounded. So, yeah, everything's nice and smooth. It's, it's not a problem. The lanyard hole is out of the way. Um, so I dig it. I, I like this knife in pocket. I like this knife in hand. I like the action. Um, let's talk about the blade a little bit and how it's done for cutting. All I've done with it so far is open some packaging. Um, I actually opened quite a few boxes last night because we were doing a little project at my sister-in-law's house. Um, and so I opened like the tape on the boxes and then I had to cut some zip ties internally. And I've done like a, a fair amount of typical EDC stuff for myself um, for having it in the pocket for one whole day so far. Like more than I probably would most first days with a new knife. Um, and the blade is done good. It's got a very good factory edge. Um, I've already known that Civivis and Wii in general does very good factory edges. Um, I've never had a bad Wii edge. And in my opinion, this is basically a Wii. Um, if you're not familiar, Civivi is the budget line of Wii knives. So there you have that. Um, what I'm most impressed with on this guy is the hollow grind. So the blade stock is not overly thick. I mean, I wouldn't call it super thin either. It's just kind of average, especially for a knife this small overall. Um, I wouldn't call it thin, but it's not overly thick. And because they've done this hollow grind instead of just a flat grind, um, it actually gets to a really good profile in my opinion. The way that this edge cuts as I pass like through cardboard, stuff like that, that's usually kind of how I get a good bearing on how a knife makes continuous cuts is through sheets of cardboard. And I put it through a few sheets of cardboard and I was impressed, it cuts well. I feel like for a budget offering, I'm getting why so many people sing this knife's praises. Um, because it cuts well, it goes in pocket well, feels good in hand, it's got a fun action, um, it's built well. There, there's nothing about this knife so far that is posing a problem for me. Not a thing. Is it my favorite knife I've ever experienced? No. It would be crazy if I got a $50 knife in hand and it was my favorite knife I ever experienced. I mean, for 50 bucks, this is very good. And I think that's an important part of the conversation is for 50 bucks. 
um, I would have no problem recommending this knife based on the conclusion I've come so far with it to pretty much anybody who this is what they have to spend on a knife. Um, and I've been telling a lot of people for a long time, like, if you're looking for a budget knife, pick the Civivi that speaks to you the most because everybody seems to say that they're very consistent and the ones that I've handled have been very consistent and they're all done well and they seem to be leading the charge on giving you the most for your money between materials, fit and finish, design, all of it flowing together. Um, Civivi seems to be doing really well with that. And I get why the Elementum is kind of at the front of their pack and why they've been doing so well with it. Because this is a knife that is safe for so many people. It's a nice neutral handle. It's a size that a lot of people are comfortable carrying. It looks fine. It's not like a striking knife. I mean, this knife is fairly plain looking in shape and, and all of that. It's just, it's not like overly designed at all. And so because it's just kind of safe and the way that it's done, I think that it leads it to be like a simple good knife. And that's a good thing to have on the market. Um, I imagine this knife will continue to see a lot of success based on what I've found out so far. So um, we'll see. By the time I've had this in pocket a bunch more times and cut a lot more with it, maybe things change. Maybe I find that this D2 is actually made of butter or maybe I find that the clip falls off or I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to honor the process and I'm going to spend at least a whole week with it before doing my full review. Um, this one may be one of those, however, that becomes fairly redundant because I can already kind of sense that <laughs> this one is, is quite nice. Um, again, 450 bucks. Very, very nice. Um, would I pay 150 bucks for this knife? Nope. It wouldn't excite me nearly enough if I'm being honest. Um, but for 50 bucks, very very impressive anyway that'll be my first impressions on the Civivi Elementum in my Carta and D2 and uh, I'll have a full review for you soon in the meantime there is plenty more uh, content coming on other knives so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one